been sailing for about uh, 10 years professionally and, uh, and about four or five other square riggers and some the size, some a little bigger uh, as a deckhand and as bosun, as an officer across the Atlantic, across the Pacific, around the Great Lakes. <laughs> Tell me about how sailing the Charles W. Morgan compares to the, the other t square riggers you've sailed. Uh, she's a fun ship to sail because she's not uh, she's not too heavy. She's very simply set up, pretty easy gear uh, to deal with. But uh, you know the, the most interesting thing about sailing the ship is uh, you know because she's the genuine artifact. Let's bring it all back. You know she she works very well. Ship. It's very docile. You know, a lot of these ships that we sail, they got you know big props dragging them down, and they don't sail very well. For that and other reasons, the rig not being quite right. Here we have everything correct, and it's really uh, fun and interesting to see that uh, having everything correct really works pretty well. Make fast to port braces. Port for the gallant sheet. Make fast. Starboard sweat up. Well, after five years of restoration, uh, to actually be underway uh, here off the coast of Rhode Island, where we are right now is pretty fulfilling. Uh, as far as a ship of this size and this type, I'd give her a 9 out of 10 so far. Hard telling though, you know, we haven't really had her out in uh, the conditions that you really value a ship's sea kindliness. You know, ships are fa some ships are fast and handy, but if you get them out and they're a real crank in a seaway, they're not, they're no good. I don't think we're ever actually really going to get to see that side of her, but uh, for doing the work that we're doing inland here, she's uh, she does very well.